Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in We are on to Surah Al-Kawthar, the smallest surah in the Qur'an and we are continuing to look at Itmam al-Harakat and Makharij al-Huruf and how to implement those rules into our recitation of the Qur'an Inshallah we'll be doing that for the next three surahs as well so that we've covered the last ten surahs with the same rules and had plenty of practice of how to implement those rules into the recitation of the Qur'an and then after that we'll go on to inshallah explain the sifat or the characteristic of the letters and then God willing inshallah move on to other rules of tajweed and explain how to implement them into our recitation in order to improve let me recite Surah al kawthar for you and then we'll break it down into the three verses and look at what's required in order to improve inshallah Zakmullah khair بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر So let's look Surah Al-Kawthar and concentrate on Itmam Al-Harakat and the Makharaj Al-Huruf and pick up the pointers that we need in order to improve our recitation. The Isti'adha and Basmala has been covered really in detail in all the previous videos so um, please look and refer back to them. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim um, Again the scene needs to be elongated, the Ha a burst of air when you pronounce the ha from the middle of the throat the upper jaw going up when you say uh, the word of Allah and the ma so that's all the main things to look for really in the basmala Bismillahirrahmanirrahim verse number one inna a'tainaka al-kawthar so really again the concentration on the mouth movements and the makharij al-huruf when you have inna the the first sound that is created is the is the hamza from the bottom of the throat in and then you have a noon with a shadd on it which means that we elongate the sound of the noon and also we have ghunna this sound that emanates from the nose inna and then as you pronounce the noon with the fatha on it then your upper jaw needs to move up Inna Inna A'tainaka Al-Kawthar Now again, in terms of the length, you need to try to pronounce the same length that I'm doing, so keep with the length that I'm doing, or if you're reciting to a teacher of Tajweed, then keep to what they're teaching you. Inna But certainly there needs to be consistency when you have these lengths, and I'm reciting it for Harakat. Inna ah ah. So we have again this ayn with a sukun, which means that we linger on it. And before that, we have the hamza. So you pronounce the hamza from the bottom of the throat, and then you go to the ayn, and you have two different sounds: uh, the hamza and then the ayn. Inna a'tayna a'tayna. So going on to the ayn. And then the ta, a'tayna, again with the noon, with the fatha, upper jaw going up, so that you have that clear sound. Inna a'tayna kal, kal, kaf, so the, uh, you have the qaf at the back of the tongue, and then the kaf just lower down from it. Kal, and then when you have the lam, again, we just keep the sound of the lam slightly, so it's audible in recitation. Kal kau, and you look at my lips, that they're pouting out. Kau kau thar, because the wow is pronounced from the lips. 
kawsar and then back for the raw, which is the tip of the tongue touching the gums just behind the central uh, at the central inside. So you have the lam al an al. You should be able to move towards the front of the mouth in order to um, pinpoint exactly where you pronounce the raw from. So you have al an moving towards the front of the mouth, and then you have al. Just at the gums of the central incisors at the top is where you're touching. Arm with the tip of the tongue. Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. Ra, come back and make sure your lips are back. Thar, fa, fa. Pronounced with the central incisors touching the inside of the bottom lip or what we call the wet part of the bottom lip. <laughs> fa, fa, not from out here. Fa, fa, has to be from the inside. Fa, salli, fa, sa, sad, and then the lamb. You have a lamb with a shadda, with a kasra, and then you have another lamb following that. So in re- reality, we're reciting three lambs all together. Fa, salli. So go to the makhraj of the lamb. Fa, sal, and then you have the kasra with the lowering of the jaw, or the bottom jaw. Fa, salli, li. فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ Again, the bar has a shadd on it. Rabbi. So you build up pressure in your lips. Rabbi. Rabbika. 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 One. One. The noon is followed by a ha, which is the letter of the throat, which means we have a rule of it's har. But we just keep the noon clear here. One har. وَنْحَرْ فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرْ Then the last verse إِنَّ إِنَّ So the noon has a shadda again elongate the sound إِنَّ شَاء And the noon with the fatha is all that you required It's different from the first verse we have إِنَّ أَعْطَيْنَا And here you have in na that's all and then followed uh, by the sheen in sha ni aka so you're going from the noon to the sheen quite quickly in sha ni aka again sha upper jaw going up sha ni aka hamza aka إن شاني أك هو الأبتر. So breaking down all the sounds, you have the شاني أك شاني أك هو the half from the bottom of the throat. هو ال then staying on the lam. أب أبتر have a قلقلة on the ba. أب and then تا and then back for the raw. So that's the whole process of the last verse. Inna shani aka huwa al-abtar. And putting all that together, I'll recite Surah Al-Kawthar again. And hopefully you can pick up, or you have picked up things that can improve your recitation. Jazakum Allah khair. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر صدق الله العظيم